You said you about the what? Okay. Do you got tip money? Hmm, I'm live. Oh. <laughs> Why you say oh? Because we're trying to tip something. Say a what? What did you say? You can't even say nothing. You said you do got tip money? Oh, okay. Well, here, give him a little something too on top of that, though. Just say appreciate it here. Hmm. What's up, friends? Let me see something. Let me see what the people are saying. I see all my friends is here. I see the people is here. I see your car and trap and spaces and AP, Adrian Peterson, Quentin, hip hop now. <laughs> hey, let me give a shout out to my people, man. I got to give a shout out to the people that hold me down. Do I got the link in the chat for y'all to even be able to come up here? I'm gonna get, let me drop the link in the chat. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. As y'all can see, I literally have my have this place right up the street from um, Let me pin that to the top of the chat. This place is right up the street from my studio, so it don't take much for me to get to where it is that I need to get to so that we can have a conversation. Yeah, we do roll deep, don't we? Shout out to y'all for showing up and kicking it tonight. I got a couple questions. I'm going to just chill. I'm going to just kind of give y'all a... Uh, kind of give y'all... A little bit of my thoughts. I don't see you on live. How don't you see me on live? I'm right here on the screen. How don't you see me? That's weird. Um, let me get my thoughts off really quickly. And then we gonna get there. All right. To those that don't understand what happened tonight, let me give you the cliff notes. All right. First of all, shout out to coach. Shout out to coach. I'm sorry. I'm really, really bad with names. I'm great with faces. Um, coach was due. Oh, and also, shout out to Obi. Shout out to shout out to everybody. Shout out to Harley Initiated and all of that. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I did not expect to ever get a phone call to ever go on any of these panels on these platforms uh, or even to talk to these people in a general sense because I honestly believe that people don't want to hear the truth or they fear in general, obviously that doesn't apply to Harley Initiated because I was there. But I think that people fear somebody that's not pandering to them, especially platforms that have a large, a large majority of people that are women. Real talk. It's crazy. It's I'm, I'm, I'm always amazed. I'm 100 percent amazed. Can you go grab me the lotion, please? I need some lotion for my hands. I'm always amazed. And, and this is what you starting to realize. It doesn't matter what the results are. Doesn't matter how much I show my, res my results or my wife. Doesn't matter how much that she's next to me. Don't matter how logical the argument is. You know what the people were saying? You know what they were saying? I don't like him. I don't like what he represents. I don't like how he makes me feel. He seems like a narcissist. You know what the most disappointing part of this conversation or disappointing part of a lot of the things that we see from a feedback perspective? And thank God I'm just a, a real one and I'm tough and I don't really care about what people think, but I care more about um, making sure that I do the work and that we tell the truth. You know, the real crazy part about this is when you see men, men from the chat, that super chat, oh, I don't like Anton. It's like, dog. Really? Seriously? You still on that? You still on that weakness? You still on that sucker emotional rant that you won? You still feeling some type of way? Man, listen, people, people that I don't think have anything that's resonating or relevant, I just don't care for. Like, I don't check for them. I mute their channels. I'm not subscribed to them. I don't really care what they say. But we got people that are all in their emotions. And guess what? 
I'm here for it. I'm one of... I'm 100% girded up and ready. And you know what the funny part about it is, is that when me and Rita was walking outside of the studio, so I closed up the studio and I headed down here downtown to my space. A um, couple different things that we're going to take away and then we're going to cook, right? The first thing is, is I'm kicking it with Rita and she was like, man, you was cooking. My girl, my and they don't, they don't even like it that I call her my chick, but my chick, my bitch... Right? My bitch was so in all. Yeah, she like it when I say that. She started smiling. She started smiling. Look at her. She she's feeling some type of way. Start smiling when I say that. <laughs> Listen, let me tell you something, bro. My 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 bitch is so in all. My chick is so in all of me. She is amazed. She be like, daddy. When we jumped in the elevator to go down, she said, oh, my God. She said, that turned me on the way you talk. She said, you speaking so much truth. You too real. She said, you too real for them. She said, these hyenas, they not ready. They not ready for this real conversation. And you know what the word, the funniest part about it is? You know what the funniest part about it all is? Is that uh, it was absolutely true. Everything I said wasn't truth. I still come out to the high rise. I still am in a penthouse. I still got, I'm rich as hell. I probably got your whole salary on my wrist right now. And you still going to have to go home and be by your fucking self because you don't have the results. So the thing that you have to ask yourself is, are you really wanting, listen, listen. Forget them. Forget the audience. Forget the hyenas. Forget the people that don't like it or whatever. We don't give a fuck, right? That's why we 6,000 strong inside of the Patreon. We're not tripping off of that, right? Here's the thing. And shout out to y'all. Shout out to Tia. Shout out to Trap. Shout out to everybody. Every, Hip Hop Now. All y'all. Y'all know who y'all are. I seen y'all. Messy. All of that. Shout out to y'all for always having my back. And you know what they're going to try to tell you? They're going to try to tell you that Anton only speak to men. Anton only speak to a demographic of men. Then how come some of my biggest supporters and the ones that hold me down the most are the ladies? It's not just your car. It's not just Kojak. Trap, trap be with me. Messy, have my back. K Cooper, always here. See, if it was only if it was only men that we catered to, if it was only men that rock with me, if it was only men that supported me, then how come so many of the women is in, is is rock? Why are they so dedicated to me? Why are these women in the chat right now that rock with me, Sabrina? How come the, how come they love me so much? How come when I show up to y'all city, the Osriels and all of these people, how come when I show up to their city? That they always be rare. The, the five, five Brown is my dog. Why they love me so much? Why the ladies love me so much if I'm so crazy? Molly, Molly, Molly have my back. You know why? Because these women understand truth. And see... The difference is the only ones that really get offended are the ones that we hitting. Bow, bow, bow. See, the truth hurt. It hurt. It is very, very painful. It is so painful. The truth. I'm going to read the super chat shortly. The truth is painful. It is a very difficult thing for people to have to endure through. And so if I say it, and one of the things that you also notice, we're going to break all of this down. One of the things that you also notice is that coach really didn't disagree with me. He didn't disagree with me. Coach didn't. I, listen, I gave him props, both of them, for even showing up. I can't imagine what it's like to sit on the other side of me. I can't imagine what it's like to sit on the other side of me, to debate me. When my chick walked into the studio where is the results? See, when I start pulling cards and see, I don't, I don't mince words. I don't care what platform. If you invite me to your platform, you're going to have to know what it is. I don't mince words. I don't pull cards. I don't dodge super chats. I don't do any of that. 
I address it head on. No matter where I am, I'm going to be exactly who I am 100% of the times. I'm not going to change up. I'm not fake. I'm not going to pander to the audience. I'm not going to be anything different than what you guys get and see on a regular basis. I don't care. I genuinely don't care about what people think about me. And that's the difference between me and everybody else is that everybody is trying to sell you a narrative. What is this stuff on my shirt? Oh, I thought I had some on my shirt. That's my uh, thing. <laughs> no, I do got something on my shirt, I think. It's like... Mm -hmm. It's weird. But everybody is trying to sell you a narrative, but very few people is actually trying to tell you what you need in order to be successful. What's the point of feeling good if we can't get to the results? What's the point of having a bunch of discussions if everybody is still going to be fucked up at the end of the day and nobody actually going to get with somebody that can add value into their life? What's, what's the point of a person pandering to you? When I brought up the Derrick Jackson example, whoo, and nobody could refute it. Nobody could refute it. Coach agreed with me for 98, 99% of the talking points. And even when we had a disagreement, it was a nuance. And then I would ask him a question and all of that. Coach agreed with me for 98, 99% of my talking points. And guess what? They was disappointed in him for agreeing with me. That's how you can tell that it's the messenger and it's not the message. It's the messenger and not the message. Look, I fear for, absolutely fear for, anybody that's standing in front of me, 100%. I would not want to debate me. I would not want to stand in front of me. I would not want to be the person that have to face me in a, in a conversation. Because I'm gorgeous, my beard is beautiful, I'm rich, I'm successful, I got the results, I've been married for a long time, and so there's nothing that you can actually say except for some ad hominem attack. I was more disappointed in the guys that was typing hard in the chat that would throw an ad hominem attack than I was at the women because I expect the women to be emotional. That's just what women are. Women are emotional when you're having sex, they're emotional when they don't like you, they're emotional. When they like you, it always generates a heavy emotion. And so most women are unable to step outside of themselves in order to have a, a conducive conversation or a conversation that's best for you. I was disappointed in the guys. I just can't believe it. I'm amazed at the amount of men that are suffering in their own household, suffering next to the women that, were, that they're lay, laying next to. Do, do you know that most men, that there's a lot of men, I'm not going to say most, because I can't actually justify that argument. Do you know that there's a lot of men that are in relationships or in marriages that they hate? They hate going home. When I was in a plant, when I was coming up, and I would be in a plant, and I would see a lot of these guys working overtime and stuff, and they didn't need the money and they was in a good space and they didn't even care about the overtime or anything like that. But they would just want to hang around a plan. Even when they didn't have overtime, they would stick around a little bit longer than they were supposed to. Or when they got off of work, they would go to the bar and go and kick it. And they had an old lady at home and, you know, they called they called their girl their old lady. It didn't matter how old that they were. They had an old lady at home, right? And I always would ask them. And one time I asked one of my OGs and it was the OG that had told me, to save at least 25% of everything that I made from a gross and then made sure that I invested it in dollar cost average. And he was teaching me that way back, you know, in 04, 03, that type of time. And I would ask OG and I said, yo, bro, ain't you married? Ain't you got a chicken on? He was like, ah. And then one day he kind of slipped up and was just like, yo, I'm not in no rush to get home. I'm not in a rush to get home. That's what they say. There are a lot of people today in 2024, I'm going to read the Super Chat shortly. There are a lot of people today in 2024 that hate the person that they lay next to. They absolutely hate it. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to fix it. They don't know how to get out of it. Uh, they sticking around for the kids, all of that stuff, right? 
And so when you think about that and you think about the state of how things are and that we're getting worse, society, listen, we got more podcasts than ever before and worse results than we've ever had. We have more podcasts than ever before and we have worse results. The more podcasts that we get and the more people that you give a microphone, the less the less success that we have in society. How does that how does that correlate? Because if more people are having conversations because conversations are supposed to be results oriented and we're supposed to be getting to it if because they say that I'm the person that has or exhibited these toxic masculinity, right? So, okay, cool. Let's let's look at it from an objective perspective. If I'm the person that's exhibiting all of these masculine talking points and toxic masculinity, which masculinity is not toxic, if that be the case, then how come the people that rock with me are more successful and becoming more successful? And it's a lot of y'all that tell me on a regular basis. Some tell me and some don't. Some just send me an email. Some jumping on coaching calls. Some of them is bag chasers. Some people tell me in person. How come the people that rock with me are getting the results? They better marry. Look at look at that girl. Come here. We got to come on back. Show the chasers with Chelsea. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Gone, girl. How come the people that rock with me are actually getting the results, but the people that actually are rocking with all of these other panda bears and on all of these other platforms, how come they continue to suffer? People around me is getting married from reaching out and kicking it with the chasers and meeting with different people in person. People around me are getting more money, better results, finding God, changing their perspective. Some of y'all don't even realize, but we've reprogrammed how you think about money and how you look at politics and what you even consider conservative or liberal. Some of y'all have now become free thinkers. Have y'all thought about that? A lot of y'all have actually become free thinkers. And it, it's not that a lot of, it's not that y'all agree with 100% of what I say because y'all absolutely don't agree with 100% of what we say. That's why we say chat lives matters. When I'm in the chat, whether it be the millionaire morning show or after hours, y'all be like, oh, I don't agree with this, Anton. And some of the people that's the closest to me that will fiercely defend me in person be like, Anton, you're wrong about this. Fob Brown be like, no, not Dame. All of that, right? And it's not that y'all agree with everything that I say, but y'all are free thinkers now. And I advocate for that because we're all different people. And we have differences of opinions, and we come from different places, and life is good, but we all can agree on one thing. Or two or three, depending on what subject that we're talking about. And you know what we agree on? We agree that it's important for us to run up that check. We agree on the fact that we all want to be happy in our own households, whether you're single or you're married. And if you are married, then the person that you're supposed to be with, there is supposed to be a blueprint for not only how you teach your children, but for what you look for in a spouse. That's not nothing that we agree on. Now, we can disagree on, you know, different ways that we react to Dame Dash or, or you know, um, Angel Reese and the, and the WNBA, whether it's entertaining. But the core root of who we are is all similar. How we get there is the way that we debate. That's when we start having differences of opinion. And as long as you're not disrespectful, right, and that you start talking about something that don't have nothing to do, nothing to do with the content creator that's talking about it, then... We can have a we can have a difference of opinion and different and disagree on some stuff. I remember when your car, your car is one of the dopest, most loyal people that I have on this platform, and he hold me down on a regular basis. Me and your car, we disagree in the chat. We absolutely positively disagree. But it's not about disagreeing and agreeing. It's about finding common ground to what the truth is so that we can live better lives. That's the goal. It's better lives. I don't care if you say something that offends me. Sometimes y'all force me to think about things differently. And I'm like, why is all of the bag chasers on this side of the fence? And so I got to reevaluate my position and I start rethinking. And then sometimes I'll be like, no, nah, they just crazy. I just got a crazy chat. And other times I'm like, well, I can make some modifications or some adjustments. 
But then most of the time, we just we just having fun. But we all have a similar disposition for what we think success should look like when it comes to the culture, when it comes to the money, when it comes to spirituality. Some of y'all not even believers in the same way that I'm believing. But y'all tolerate it. You know why? Because even if you believe differently, there's some similarities between the way that I believe and also the way that you believe. There's a lot of similarities within Muslim culture that closely align with what Christianity is. As a matter of fact, I would say that Muslim culture absolutely, absolutely lives it more thoroughly in a lot of instances, and not in all instances, but in a lot of instances, in the way that they promote how it is that they're supposed to live their lives, which is very much closely, closely mimicked, right, in the same way by Christianity. Now, you can also say that there are some people that represent Christianity in the wrong way, and so they're just not living it correctly. But when it comes to the, the very basic morals and values, we can see we can see the relationship between those two. We can start to mine it out. If you say, hey, man, listen, according to what's happening over in the Muslim community, this is the way in which they live their life. I don't have to be a Muslim to really be able to see if, it, if it's working. And if it's working, I'm like, hmm. And then I'm going to correlate that to how we supposed to live within the Christian community. And then we're going to go from there. I'm not just going to disagree with you for the sake of disagreeing with you. I'm going to get to the root cause of it and I'm going to get to the truth. Right. I mean, it's crazy. Some of the stuff that was being said on the platform tonight. It's crazy how much some of the stuff. Yo, we had a therapist. Shout out to him for showing up. I can't criticize him personally, but I can criticize the talking point. We had a therapist that sat here and told us that you can't really groom or you can't really teach your children or it's not a big deal to teach your children about sexuality and how it is that they're supposed to operate with regard to that. Okay, well, if you don't have no real compass, no really moral, no real moral compass or principles by which you live by in order to justify how it is that you're raising your children, then how the fuck are you going to sit here and, and coach somebody or give them some therapy session? What are you giving them? What kind of tools are you giving them in order to help them to become the best version of themselves or to solve for the problems that they have in their lives? If there's no real core definition of what masculinity is supposed to look like, then why would we label anything? If anybody could be the head of the household, because I know women, I know the core of women. It's, it's crazy. Listen, this is a person that was a, listen, I'm just a, a lonely C student that just so happened to get lucky, find my tribe and be rich as hell. Rich as hell. But how... How can we justify the mindset of somebody that is licensed, I don't know his background, so I'm just guessing, that is supposed to be licensed to give you the tools that you need in order to think your way out of the situation that you're in? It's weird. Absolutely weird. And see, this is the shit that we say out in society, and ultimately what is going to ruin you. It's going to ruin you. You get one life. That's it. One life. One shot at it. You don't get to do it over. You don't get to reversion yourself and rebrand yourself. Oh, look at her. Let me show y'all something. Come on. Come here. No, nope, don't do it. Yeah, okay. I don't want to show all of that. Rita got abs, y'all. No, go on. Go on. I don't want to show it. Go. Get your stuff and go. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Which one is it? Come here. Look at that. Rita got abs, y'all. Y'all don't want to see that. Uh, get on out of here. Did y'all know that it was people? Did you go to their studio in Atlanta? No. So let me give you a little bit of insight on that, right? Um, shout out to ABJ. My flight was booked. I ain't need nobody to book me a flight. Hey, man, it's ain't no. Nope. I had booked my own flight, put up my own money, got my own hotel. I was good. And so I was all set to go to the studio. Um, and then their producer called uh, my people and was like, oh, no, we're going to do it remotely. And I said, why are we doing it remotely? Let's get it in, let's get it in, in person because I want to feel the energy of the people that's in there. This is a fact. This is an absolute fact. I said, oh, no, we're not going to do it. We're just going to do it remotely. And I said, why? Well, what's happening? Uh, you know, some of the other people, I'm not sure if they're able to make it. Let's get it in in person. I was set to go down to Atlanta. 
So they said that. So, but I'm thinking that it's a possibility that the people that was on the panel didn't really want to see me in person. It's different when you see me in person. To see, you can see their energy. You can see them in real life. So, I mean, you know, we did it remotely. Uh, I rocked out with whatever it is that they was rocking out with. But they'll sit there and they'll say, hey, man, Rita ain't happy. Oh, she can't be crazy. She under the rest. I said, yo, I'm a benevolent dictator. That's just how I run my household. You can't be a benevolent dictator in your household. I said, what? Most women want you to take control. Man, listen, I don't know no woman. I don't know one woman in real life. And I don't know what kind of guys that y'all getting with or what, right? Y'all y'all educate me and tell me if I'm missing something. I don't know one woman in real life that don't want to be able to operate in their femininity. Man, don't no woman want to sit there and be making decisions all day and trying to figure out. Most women can't even figure out what they want to eat. You hear her in the background? Most women can't even figure out what they want to eat. If you sit there and you ask her too many questions, y'all going to both be confused and then y'all going to wind up staying home and doing nothing. That's why she's laughing in the background because she knows it's true. If you ask her, let me get one of them. If you ask her one too many questions about, hey, where you want to go eat at? Oh, nope. They just want you to go ahead and make a decision and set it up and make sure that things is great. As a matter of fact, yeah, let me get a cup. As a matter of fact, I was talking to Rita earlier. <laughs> I was talking to Rita earlier. And uh, we was talking about something. She said, you know what, Anton? Eh, I just want you to let me know what it is that you want me to do. And I just want to shop and I want to travel. I'm telling you, that was the conversation. I was talking to Rita earlier. And she said, oh, I just want, to, want you to give me direction. And I just want to shop and travel. I don't care about none of that other stuff. You can handle all of that, the rest of that stuff. And she is great at what she do. But at her core, she just want to be happy and be a woman. At her core, she just want to be happy and be a woman. She want to wear that Rolex, go shopping, do what she want to do, live good, wake up late, and have a good conversation. Rita ain't trying to be all up in the camera. She don't care nothing about none of this stuff that y'all talking about. She just a fan of me. Rita be watching me on her laptop and in person. Like, like she wanted y'all in the chat. That's the honest to God truth. My chick be sitting there watching me on the phone and on the laptop the whole time. She a fan. You a fan. And that's cool. This chick is my biggest fan. Rooting for me. Ask, ooh, can, I ain't going to interrupt you. Can I come down to the studio and see how you working? How many of y'all chick? <laughs> how many of y'all chicks can say that they your your biggest fan? Your chick don't even like you. Your girl don't even like you. You ain't got no fans. You sleeping with the enemy. You don't got the blueprint. You don't know. You don't know. If you want the blueprint for how your chick is supposed to be a fan, if you want the blueprint to understand exactly how they're supposed to adore you. If you want the blueprint for after 20 years, bigger fan than ever been before. My chick the other day, honestly, she said, I, I just, I'm so obsessed. I don't think you know how obsessed I am with you. I ain't going to not tell your business. This is the truth. I don't think you understand how much I love you. I am obsessed with you. Honest to God. On my daughter's life, that's what she say to me. I don't think you understand how obsessed with you I am. Putting a verbal love letter on me every day. I am obsessed with you. I love you. So I love you more than I love myself. I just want you to have everything. You deserve every good thing in your life. This is what my chicks say to me. When I walk through the door, she'd be like, oh, my God, I can't believe you came home early. How many of you motherfuckers is experiencing that? Talking about the rest. The rest. <laughs> you're a crash. Y'all crash dummies. 
Y'all crash dummies. You a crash dummy. My mother, when I walk in the door, when I walk in the door on Thanksgiving, do you remember what they was acting like when I walked in the door on Thanksgiving for my own family? You mean on Easter? Yeah, or, or Easter, I'm sorry. Yeah. What did they say? Love me. My people love me. Love me. This is a patriarchy over here. We operate in a patriarchy. Sitting at the door like, oh, I can't wait for you to come in. They love, they would, listen, you so busy trying to ask them what they want because you think that, it, honey, how do you think that we should do this? And she don't give a fuck. She wants you to take charge. She wants you to own this shit. She wants you to determine what's going to happen. She, maybe she wants you to keep her informed, but she definitely wants you to handle it. You think she want to know how much the car note is? I gave Rita the, uh, some papers for a car that I'm about to buy because I'm buying a new 911. I said, here, you want to see? Oh, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. She just throw the mail away. I don't even be knowing we'll be, we'll be here. If it don't come electronically or through email, I'm just not going to see it. She ain't trying to look at no prices. She ain't trying to understand how it's going to go. She don't want to know when the due dates are. She don't want to know nothing. She just want me to handle it. Hey, listen, I don't want to know. I'm not, I ain't trying to be in your business. She don't give a fuck about no phone bills. She don't care nothing about no, what the payments are. She don't want to know what the insurance, all she want to know is can she go to the doctor when she wants to? Can she go out to the mall and shop when she wants to? Can she take the flights that she want to go and take and do what she want to do? And can she wake up in bliss and do what she want to do when she want to do it? That's it. You think that a woman want to act? Listen, this is, the, this is that new shit. This is that new masculine woman that y'all dealing with. Because they ain't never been in a situation where they've been with a man that could tell you to shut the fuck up and sit down. Hey, what you doing? Put that down. Why are you over there doing all of that? What? Wait, wait. You about to go to the what? No, 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 no. We don't, we don't go to the grocery store. I want you to spend your time actually in, having fun. We don't go, we ain't get that delivered. What? Cleaners? What you trying to clean for? Listen, you didn't did too much cleaning back when we was younger and we ain't had shit. No more cleaning. We about to have a good time. Life is good. You think that your chick want to be sitting there making decisions? You keep bringing her spreadsheets every day. Uh, so this is where we at. This is where we... Don't nobody want to do that? Hey, you got it? I trust you. When your chick sit there and say, hey, you got it? I trust you. Then I'll have more respect for you. Then we can start having a conversation talking about where you are on the hierarchy of men. But you ain't there yet. You're not there yet. You know what my daughter say? You know what she did today? She picked what car she wanted to drive to school. Did she get her phone fixed? Because I know she went out to the mall today. Yo girl ain't sitting there wanting to do all of that. You don't understand women. And you want to sit here having a conversation with, you know why these ugly hyenas is over there crying and, and complaining and typing hard in the chat talking about what they don't like? Let me tell you something, man. Them chicks would love for me to come into their life. They wish they had an Anton. They wish they had an Anton. And the reason that they don't have an Anton, except instead they got him a Ray Ray and a Pookie, they wish, they wish it was a dude that could put them in the same position that my wife is in. And they'll never have it. You know why? Because they're too busy getting offended instead of understanding. I'm not going to sit here and negotiate with no hyenas. Why would I do that? Hey, they talking to me like I'm not already successfully married. I don't like Anton. Bitch, I don't like you either. I don't sleep with you. I ain't never fucked you. Except for the only difference is your baby daddy don't like you either. And that's why you ain't got no man next to you. I don't like, I don't like you either. Now what? Now we both in the same boat. You don't like me. I don't like you. Except for when we cut this camera off and we get off the YouTube and you get off the fucking chat. I'm still going to be me and you still going to be you. And we know what that looked like for you and we know what that looked like for me. I don't like the way you said that. I don't like the fact that you keep having children out of wedlock and my tax dollars keep paying for your social services. Now what? Now we in the same boat. I don't like you either. 
And if you've seen the profile pictures of some of these chicks that be on Instagram, that's why I like Instagram. I don't like Instagram because it's a better platform. I like Instagram because I can actually see who's talking to me. And them chicks be coming up there, they be having a nerve to type hard in the chat. Who hurt you? Then I click on a profile picture and they like this. <laughs> Bitch, who are you talking to? Who who hurt you? Looking just like they're in a thriller video. Them chicks be told, uh, told down. I can understand why you don't like me. I can understand why you don't like me. You in a thriller video, no makeup. No makeup. You get the job. You be in thriller, just dress how you've been dressing, and smile. You get the job. Not the nerd to ask me, who hurt me? Like you're not at the very bottom. Look, man. The culture in the community is so trash that you're at the very bottom, all the way at the bottom, not second to last, not third from last, last place. How are the people in last place have so much to say and they getting worse? You're not growing. You're not outpacing the people that's right in front of you. You're in, you're in dead last. You've been in dead last since the beginning of time. Since we came over into this country, since your people sold your own people into this country, we've been in dead last. 100% dead last. Least desirable, least likely to get married. The most of us is in jail. Most of us is dealing with these fake-ass, punk-ass therapists. Having children out of wedlock. The most student loan debt. The worst voters. All across the board, we dead last. And then they want to argue with the one person that's successful. The one person that got success in a relationship that's willing to give it to you raw and uncut without no kind of filter to it. I'm, how did I become public enemy number one? Tell me what I said. Tell me the thing that I said that made me public enemy number one. What did I say? Don't have children out of wedlock. Don't be a step crash dummy. What part of that is, is not true? Would you tell your son to go out there and be a step crash dummy? No, you wouldn't. You know why? Because you know it's not best for him. Now, if you're able to finesse and do it and in doing it, cool. Congratulations. God bless you. But I'm not going to, in good conscience, tell, my, tell any of my people that if this is not the position that you're in, why would you voluntarily put yourself under duress for somebody that don't give a fuck about you? Why would you do that? Why, why, would I, why would I advise you of that? Why would I think that that's a good idea? Why would I think that that's a good idea? I don't think that that's a good idea. And so then I say, well, listen, the solution is, A, marry before you carry. B, be a better vetter. And then look for these things in a person that you ultimately are going to marry. C, don't start dating until you actually get married because that's when the real work begins. And then D, maybe you should go back with your baby daddy because there ain't nothing out here for you in these streets. It's hard. Don't leave your relationship. Don't leave your marriage. Oh, my God. We need to hold more men accountable. What? So that's the only thing that we're going to talk about? Man, we've been talking about holding men accountable for the last 50 years. When haven't men been held accountable? How long are we going to talk about Holding men accountable. What is this on my shirt? I don't understand this stuff. When are we going to stop? What, how long are we going to have the conversation? Because listen, clearly this ain't working. Clearly this ain't working. How long are we going to have the same conversation? Before I was born, they was talking about how we going to hold men accountable. Before I was born. I, I was born into accountability. Hold men accountable. Hold me accountable. How long are we going to have the same conversations over and over again with no results? And then you think that that's going to fix the community. Okay, so guys started holding themselves accountable. They walked away from the thing that their father did in order to make sure that they took care of their kids. We know that women initiate at least 70 to 80% of the divorces. 
We have the data and we have the statistics to make the adjustments. But we sit here and we still want to pander to women and say, oh, okay, hold men accountable. Big homie, Tyshawn, Big Ty, came on a platform and he said, listen, Anton, I hate to say it. Now, he said it out of his own mouth. He said, Anton, I'll be knocking him down. He said, I, I have a level of toxicity in me that's not going to prevent me from out. He said, but I do know that at some point I got to get it together. You know why? Because it's a possibility that I might get one of these chicks pregnant. That's what he said on his own platform. I'm not making it up. That's my guy. He volunteered the information. He said, listen, man, anti, I ain't even going to lie. I be out here fucking with these hoes and busting down the community. And they, you know what they said in the chat? <laughs> you know what they said in the chat? I'm going to tell you what they said in the chat. Shout out to you, big dog, for being honest and transparent. I was like, what the fuck just happened? So Big Ty said that he was busting them down. And Anton was standing on godly principles, spitting scripture, telling we, we told, saying we all need to hold ourselves accountable. And then Anton was the one that got in trouble for it. See? See that happen? I said, dog. Don't you see what's happening here? And I already knew what was happening. God had already warned me what was going to happen before it happened. Um, but it was necessary for me to actually have that conversation because it's somebody that was listening to that or somebody that was, you know, observing that that's going to say, you know what? I want to be better and I want to do things differently. And I actually want to get results. Listen, by the time that I got done whooping ass and taking names they was calling in the chat for somebody else to go call somebody else up there to be able to have a conversation with me. Man, you what you think? That they can stand in front of me? You think that they can stand in front of me? Who's worthy to stand in front of the monster? The, the angel, God's greatest angel on living on earth right now. Who's, who's worthy? And shout out to Big Ty. I love that dude. That's a real dude. Who's worthy to sit there and stand in front of me? Because the only thing you can say is that you don't like the way that I say it. Or you just may not like the fact that I brag. Or you don't like the fact that I got a lot of money. Or you don't like the fact that I switched up from the, uh, all, from the gold gold, from the yellow gold to the rose gold Rolex in order to be able to have that conversation. But I was whooping ass. They was calling for reinforcements. Somebody get this person on the phone. Somebody get that person on the phone. And they're not going to mention me. They don't want the boogeyman showing up at their steps. I got a black hoodie on. See this? People love good quality. Y'all can go and get that. I see them in the chat. Shout out to people who love good quality. I got the hoodie on too. Got my teddy bear on. They don't want that. They don't want the boogie man. You know what? You know what could happen if the boogeyman showed up at their steps? It's going to be some flower bringing and some slow singing. And the people are going to be rooting for them to get me. And it ain't going to go the way you think it's going to go because I'm covered by God. I ain't got nothing to lose. But I do want you to be successful. I do want you to grow. I do want you to have great marriages. Somebody said you've done, you've done your homework. And I'm going to read the Super Chat shortly. Nope, I haven't. I haven't. I have not done any homework. Do you know that I didn't know who was going to be the person, the people that I was debating on the platform? I know nothing about them people. I know zero about those people. And I didn't want to know. I didn't want to know the subject. I didn't want to know what we were talking about. I walk by faith, not by sight. When I pray in the morning and I say, God, guide my footsteps, word my mouth and guide my footsteps. And what is it that you want me to do? He says, go forth, do X, Y, and Z. And I'm obedient. And that's it. I walk by faith, not by sight. I don't worry about nobody. I stand 100% in truth. I live my life like an open book. And then I cook. I cook. I don't care nothing about what nobody is talking about. I don't care who you put in front of me. No man can stand before me. I don't care what you think you can do. Very few people can stand before me. 
you just got to make it worth my while at this point because I'm not just going to be sitting here having no conversations with everybody. We've done too much. Nobody can stand before me. Very few people is willing to face me. And, I, and I'm cool with that. I understand you. I get you. And very few women are willing to take accountability. That's why I have so much regard for the women that's in the chat right now, for the women that hold me down. I have so much regard for Diamond J. Rose. I have so much regard for Trap. I have so much regard for Osriel. I got so much regard for all of the ladies. Mila. Mila. I got so much regard for some of these women. Because you know what? I know that these are the women that's growing and, and, and evolving and doing their thing. I do. I know that these are the women at our streets. Shout out to our streets. I love my people. I love my ladies. I love my guys. I love I love my tribe. I love my community. If y'all not a part of the bag chasers, the link is in the description. Um, and we're gonna get to it, man. But let me tell you something, bro. The truth is the truth, regardless of how you feel. Regardless of how you feel. I would love everybody to get it together. What up to Messi? I love Messi. I love Black Beauty. I love y'all. I really do love y'all in real life. Tam, I love you. Treese, I love you in real real life. And uh, we're going to do the work, and we're going to run it up, and we're going to take care of business, and we're going to continue to vanquish anybody that stands before us because very few people, very few people actually want to. And here's the thing. I'm not looking to destroy people. I don't want a debate. I didn't set that up. I didn't even say, hey, we should have a debate. That was something that they set up. He said, why they ambush you like that? You mean why I ambush them like that? Can't ambush me. What mystical say if you see me and a bear fighting in the woods, help the bear? Ambush who? You need a whole army. You need a, I'm still here. We growing every day. It was great visibility. Because somewhere along that line is some woman, is some woman that is having a tough time because now she got to read because you can't unhear what you heard from me. And so what happens is even though women may be bothered by what it is that I say and they may not like it, it's going to torture their soul because God is dealing with them. And you can't unsee and you can't unhear what you what you saw and heard. And the thing that stung them the most is when my chick came in. Oh, my God, they were so bothered. They wanted me to have some foreign chick. They wanted me to have a white girl. They wanted me to have some chick that's from some different neighborhood. And all, oh, man, it just took the wind out of them hoes. They don't like it that you married to your high school chick. That take the And when Rita smile, you can see it all over her demeanor. You can see it all over her face. She look good. She feel good. She fit, feminine, friendly, in a great space, nice and chocolatey. With her hair done, well taken care of. My daughter is the same way. I seen my daughter and my chick. They was over there wrestling and having a good time the other day. I said, this is the American dream. This is the American dream. They were sitting there wrestling. And then Leslie went and jumped in my Porsche and took off. And Rita went and put on her Rolex. She got a Rolex on just like me. Just like me. Twinning. Twins. See her for trying to finish my stuff? Go ahead. Keep keep dancing. Keep doing the same dance. <laughs> There's, man, Anton, he got to be getting a divorce. Yeah, I'm divorcing myself from the black community. I am. I am. This is goals. They don't like it. They hate this shit. They hate that we have a functioning household and we don't have a broken house and everybody is doing well and everything is happening ain't that ain't that sad that we want for people's downfall so bad because we just a functioning degenerate fucking society that's operating in, in the worst possible way in western culture ain't that bad ain't that man don't y'all know that there's some people over here that's hate watching right now it's people over here hate watching Right now, right now, and I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with all of the smoke this year. 
This year, I thought that it was going to be different. I thought that we was going to be um, – I thought that I was going to be more, like, chill, relax, and all of that. And I was like, fuck this shit. Let's go ahead and tear some tear some stuff up. They want the smoke. I'm not going to keep turning the other cheek. We're going to go ahead and wreck this shit. We're going to go ahead and tear everything up. Why, why does it bother you? Why does it bother you that I'm in a good functioning space? Why would my opinion even bother you? Because it's pricking their hearts. And God is dealing with these people. We got a witch, wicked society. And we got a wicked group of people that want for the downfall. They hate it. They hate it. Mm, mm, mm. Golly. And if, you know what the funniest part about it is? I'm building her a new house, and people have no clue, no idea. Monster closets, all of that shit. But I was, I'm just been quiet about it. I ain't been saying nothing because I'm living a lot of my life offline now. I'm not even showing everything anymore because all that's going to do is make them hate even more. And it's people that could have actually rocked out with me, and they would have benefited from a lot of the stuff that we had pop, popping off. I, I don't even I don't have to use the hate as motivation no more. I don't. I don't have to use the hate as motivation no more because I already won. I already won. Everything is awesome and everything is in a great space. And so I have no complaints. I have no complaints. Everything is good. Life is good. And uh, look at them. Say a name. No, I ain't got to say no names. I'm good. I ain't got to say no names. I ain't about beef no more. I will pull up on you, but I ain't about beef. Shout out to Carrie. Came through. Shout out to all of the people that love me. If you guys want to call in, you're more than welcome to be able to get your thoughts in. Um, I want to make it short and concise because, and the link is pinned to the top of the chat, I want to make it short and concise because Anton is going to go to bed um, in my huge ass bed with my my big ass view and my phenomenal closet. Um, you are more than welcome to be able to call in and get your thoughts off, and then we gonna go from there. All right. So I didn't I didn't want to go through a long long monologue tonight because I already been cooking all night. I just wanted to be able to have this conversation and give y'all my recap thoughts and go from there. I honestly don't believe that it's nobody. Not a person in the world that can stand before me. And that's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. You don't want to do that. That's not for you. But I am expecting a lot of reactions, so that'll be dope. You know what I'm saying? We can make sure that the people is doing what they supposed to do and getting it in. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. So shout out to y'all. Shout out to the people that hold us down. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Y'all are the greatest audience on the face of this earth. Let me see. Diamond J. Rose says, the most beautiful thing you can give your wife outside of the ring she wants in a car is a house that she can make a home and a surprise her with. That's real king shit. Rita, Rita is simple. Rita is a simple girl. Let me read some of the super chats. Um... Self-made forever says AD put Professor Obi Soul <laughs> in a stone and put it on his wrist and said Anton Thanos is back. Speaking of the truth, can you say your perspective on this 4B movement? Women keep yelling about great show. What is the 4B movement? You ever heard of a 4B movement? Can you look that up? 4B movement from women? 4B, I, 4B like four, the number four, and then the letter B. Look that up for me and see what that means. Uh, shout out to you, Self Made Forever. I'm going to figure that out. Chris Monroe at St. Louis says, those single baby mama's heads were about to explode. You smoked the entire panel. You represent black men the right way. Keep pushing, my brother. Thank you, my friend, Chris Monroe. I appreciate you. Jay Dove says, God bless you and your family. I'll continue to rock with you, bro. Your message is hitting home, and I thank you. No, thank you, Jay Dubs. What does it mean?
the principles are rejecting sex, child rearing, dating, and marriage with men. So they're going to be bumping uglies then. I don't care. We don't want them anyway. I'm with it. Shout out to the 4B movement. Y'all be acting like we be needing y'all. Guys that's winning have got options. They ain't tripping off of this. Wendell Kilgore says, AD, how are you on this awesome Wednesday? Phenomenal. Feeling good. Feeling awesome. Feeling like I won in life. Antonio Watkins says, Chef Tyne in the kitchen with the Black Forces. Yeah. Shout out to Messi. Messi says, my dad told me the truth will set you free after it pisses you off. You want to be free or you want to be happy? Pick one. It's a fact. I ain't never heard of that 4B movement until right now. Antonio Watkins says, Odie Husband was... <laughs> Y'all so crazy. Oh, my God. Odie's husband was finna walk into the screen when he seen Rita. Yeah. Yeah. Trady says, keep re uh, regulating on these sucker simps. They ain't want me to say that. I'm technically, Tim says, we enjoying the spoils of war over on, uh, over on the back chaser side. The champ is here, crown king. Did y'all really expect for me to lose, though? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Molly all in there drink. She ain't even know it. My girl Molly says, what's the saying? Don't water yourself down just because they can't handle you at 100 proof. Shout out to you. Uh, shout out to you for always keeping it keeping 100. The culture forgot uh, what keeping it real really means. Shout out to Molly all in my drink. She ain't even know it. Ryan Isaac says, Anton came with the Black Forces energy tonight. We sincerely love you on this side. Since the beginning of time, people have always hated the person leading them right in the right direction. Keep your foot on their necks. Thank you, Ryan. I appreciate you. Kicking it with the chef says, Anton, why don't men just leave? Uh, why be miserable? Leave from what, baby? Talking about from a relationship that they don't want to be in? I think a lot of guys are loyal, and then a lot of guys also don't want to break up the family. So I don't think it's about being miserable. I think it's just about holding out hope for the possibility of what if. Because they prefer you. You know what I'm saying? Self-Made Forever says there's more promiscuous women than weak men. A weak man can become a soldier, but a hoe can never be a hoe. Ooh-wee. People Love Good Quality says, Anton, you have a real queen. Big ups to, big re to, to, to Rita. They said big ups to you, Rita. JD25 says, salute to you, AD. People in the chat on that other channel were triggered by you. Guess they mad at you for always keeping it 100 and telling the truth. Zed Leplin is in the building, says, everyone want to be a victim. Nobody want to work. A timeout with the with the 9-10 nine, nine, ball. Shout out to timeout. I appreciate you. Shout out to my dog, Dre. Dre says, I got your back, bro. He, he threw me that super sticker. Thank you, Dre. I appreciate you. Uh, Bosef Bostar says, I'm a bag chaser now. Much love to you, brother, and your family. Shout out to the chasers. Shout out to the chasers. Appreciate you. And then my dog, you know I got to give him the drum. Spencer says, we appreciate you, big dog, bag chasers for life. Man, it's crazy. Thank you, Spence. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my friend. I appreciate you for continuing to rock out with me, bro. Let me see if I can get this popping. Hold on. Let me make some adjustments real quick. Custom color. Nope. Nope. Uh, we're going to do it like that. And we're going to pull it all the way down like that. Cool. We in this. We in this. Let me see if I can get some of y'all up here. Young Diddy. What's up, Young Diddy? What's up, man? Chillin' chillin'. What's up, What's up? man? What's up, bro? That's at, at, You said at Look at him. His connection ain't even right. The dude then dropped off. Mr. Guap says, Tana, I had no idea you was into culinary arts the way you cook tonight. <laughs> I thought that I took it pretty light on him, actually, honestly, Rita. I took it really light. Like, I was really, really reserved. I took it really light. I didn't even do a lot. You know what I'm saying? What's up, bro? What's going on, brother? Your connection keep going What's out. What's going on, man? Your connection keeps Is it? going. Okay. Bro. Um, what's going on? You tell me. Can you me. hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can. I can. So now nah, you know, man. Listen, I want to say this before we even get. Listen, I want to say this. Shout out to you, man. Your queen is beautiful. <laughs> Your queen is beautiful. Shout out
Black Blackley, man. Like, oh, I, you had I, never I, seen her before? I don't, I don't have no personal. Huh? You had never seen Rita before? I've never seen her before. No, no. And it's, it's good to see you with a deep, ebony hued sister. You feel me? Oh, that give me some credibility now. But huh? uh, no, no, no. It's no, no. I mean, I, I just. I just uh, want to say that, but I disagree with you when it comes to just, you know, just you breaking up. You breaking up, bro. You got it. Your Wi-Fi. Have you read, have you your wi read your wi Wi-Fi is messing up, bro. Your Wi-Fi messing up, big dog. It's tweaking? All right, I'm going to have to. It's my reception over here, man. That's what it is. Can you hear me? I can hear you. You still can't hear me? I can hear you. Um, no, I was just, uh, just you know, speaking about my, you know, my small library, man. You say nobody can actually step to you. I disagree on that, brother. I disagree. When it comes to this knowledge, when it comes to this knowledge is what I do, man. So I really feel like you're extra. You place a lot of emphasis on, 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 on us, which is good. But you don't talk about the systemic and the institutional structural issues that we, that plague us. You feel me? Mm-mm. You can't hear me? Mm-hmm. What? I don't feel you. Mm-hmm. What? Oh, you don't feel me. I mean, that's unfortunate, brother. But like I said, man, I I I got nothing but love for you, man. Because at the end of the day, you you know, in pro and being pro black is not a talking point. It's a lifestyle. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's a lifestyle. It's a talking point. Huh? It's, a talk, it's a talking point. It's not a lifestyle. No, well, 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 seemingly, it seemingly it is, but no, it definitely part is. Part of being pro-black, like you, you're married to a black woman. That's part of being pro-black. My, I feel like you can't be married to a black woman and say you're pro-black. There's no way you can do that. That's my. That's not. That's not me being that. pro-black. As me actually just being pro-God. It's not pro-black. Well, that's called. That's, that's self preservation. Pro, that's pro God. Self preservation, right? Oh, no, that's called pro God. Pro God. That's correct. It's called loving yourself. That's what it is. No, man. it's called loving. It's called loving the institution of marriage that God provided for me. Ain't got nothing to do with being black. I support the idea that somebody can marry whoever it is that that love. You go where you top. You go where you loved, not where you tolerated. And so, I don't care if you marry white. I don't care if you you marry Latino. I don't care who you marry. I think as long as you a good person. Then you rock out with who rock out with you. I'm not going to limit myself or I'm not going to limit other people just because I just so happen to be with a woman that's black or I have preferences that align with who it is that I'm rocking with. But I ain't going to limit nobody else. Hmm. OK, I, I, so, you, so why is that a limitation when we choose to love ourselves? That's can, that is interpreted as a limitation. How is that how, like how can everybody else, every other group, Asians put Asians first? Every other group put themselves first, but when we do, we do it. It's racism, or it's this, or it's, or that's hate. How? 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 Because you're the only person that's that. complaining about other people talking to people that don't look like you. Okay, man. I'm, I'm, I'm. That's your, that's your response. You gonna put up an electrical book? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just like you. you I'm just saying, like, why do you think, brother, do you have a, like, do you read? Like, do you, like, have a, like, actual library? <laughs> what, does have have library? Do what does that have I'm to just, do with Because it has to do with your mentality, my brother, your mentality. Your, 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 your mentality. Why do you think, why do you think I think the way that I think? Like, why do you think, and this, look, this is just a small snippet. This ain't shit right here. That ain't nothing to what I got. So why do you think I... Why do you think I think the way that I think? It's a reason why, brother. Because I think that you operate out of ignorance. Out of ignorance? If that's the case, I wouldn't be don't. successful when it comes to suing white people. <laughs> if that's the case, if I was an ignorant nigga, I wouldn't be successful then. Hey, I wouldn't be 100,000 there. Hey, I wouldn't be at least 100,000. Now, the average American, not black American, doesn't even have $1,000 saved for emergencies, brother. So I know I'm not average. Mm. I am not the average black man, let alone American. Mm. So, you know, I mean, of course, when it comes to wealth, I don't have the numeric number that you got, but I know I'm not part of the 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 the, the black sector that is 
uh, um, you know, I never uh, talked about money. I never brought up money. Huh? I never brought up money. That's an element. That's an element to what you're saying. All right. Of why you said, are. I never said nothing about money. Brother, you speak about your money in indirect ways, brother, as far as being successful. Real but, estate. But, but that have nothing to do with the conversation that me and you are having. We, I never mentioned nothing about money. I understand that. I, uh, I understand what you're saying, brother. But money is not the it's not the totality of what I'm trying to. Uh, so why did you bring uh, it up? I brought it up to basically emphasize a a certain a certain aspect that I am not. You keep talking about the one percent and the five percenters. So you, you know. So I didn't say nothing about one percent or five percent with you. <laughs> I didn't. Right now, it, you're right. At this juncture in time, you have not. You're right. At this juncture, you're not. But <laughs> at the end of the day, brother, I agree. I, I agree with you on about ninety nine point nine percent of everything. But when it comes to you, you feel like us, us, us clamoring in the streets, demanding reparations, is us begging? That's not begging. That's not. That's a debt that's old. But see, if you read, if you was to read some books, then you would know that, my brother. You, you would actually know that, bro. <laughs> Like, come on, man. I don't, hey, hey, hey. What, 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 what makes you think self-administer reparations? I'm what? all about self-administer, but don't think I don't I don't still want want um I don't want that uh 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 you feel me that that past due debt, you know. What makes y'all what makes y'all think that I care about what y'all want in reparations? Why do y'all think that that's meaningful to me? Oh, it's it's it, it don't gotta be meaningful you to my brother. So why do y'all keep have asking me what? I, why do y'all keep <laughs> putting this reparations Look, conversation to me? When that's I, all I say. Maybe, I don't hey, care. Maybe if you do read, maybe if you would read, maybe I it don't would. Care. It, it would. You know, you would experience a renaissance in your mind. Maybe you would. Hmm, okay. Listen, maybe you would. You know, you, you change saying, your perspective. You saying that you want reparations means absolutely nothing to me. I, I'm saying I'm out here getting my own reparations while also demanding for the past due. Yeah, I'm out here getting my own. I ain't out here sitting on my ass. I ain't out here homeless. I ain't out here carless. I ain't out here fucked up. I'm out here creating my own way. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> you know? No. I'm a hey, 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 hey. I'm a top. I'm a top investor, and that's according to data. That's according <laughs> to data. So what's that? What's that? <laughs> What was the return on your investment in 2023? What was the return on my investment? Yeah, your investments, your, your portfolio. Uh, honestly, I don't know that we'll... You're talking about just E-Trade? Because I got other investments as far as like real estate investment uh, uh, funding, roots. Okay. What, was your, what was your... Which what is what a was, real estate what was, investment trust. What was, huh? your, what was your return on investments in 2023? Mm, long-term investment so i mean i definitely you know <laughs> the money that i have is is is, is it's in, it's in it's basically invested long term so it's not like a trading or a day trading it's long-term investments okay i got you big nvidia dog. tesla yeah, yeah you know yeah tesla was all that seven percent earlier because they had missed expectations don't worry about it bro um all right i appreciate you young deity Read a book, bro. Just read, brother. Just read, 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 book. read, read more books. I got. You. Thank you. <laughs> just read, man. I just, I, I implore you to read a book, man. Got you. You feel me? No worry about it. All right, cool. Peace. Peace, big dog. Uh, Thomas, what's up, Thomas? What's going on, man? Chilling, chilling. Man, you, 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 you saute. You cooked the sauteed steak on a uh, hardly initiated, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, feeling just like, man. Uh, who, who was that? Who was the therapist on there? Um, Young Obi. Uh, Obi. I think Dude, did not know what he was talking about at all, bro. Um, so what he was talking about the the, the sexualized uh, subject kind of hit home, man, because I, you know, I, you know, my brother's gay, right? Really. And, uh, Yes. Uh, what happened to him? About, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's exactly where I was going with it. Um, we just recently found out, you know, 
uh, one of the members of my family had did something to him. Um, and to put everything in the, in the perspective, and then um, I said the same thing on that platform. I already know. Yeah. I already yeah. know. Most people that wind up putting themselves in that position or taking that position, it's it's something that's happening. And, and the thing about it, yeah, absolutely. And, and the thing and the thing about it, Aaron Turner, it you know it it don't even have to be somebody even touching you. It, you could be observing uh, another person, you know, doing doing the act or acting a certain way, and then that spirit uh, you know comes upon you. Um, because I know uh, a few people, a few, a few of the homies that you know that, that my brother hung out with, you know, they used to come hang out, and I used to talk to them. And you know, I kind of like because I was curious, so I, so I used to you know dig deep, break bread with them, and dig deep with them. And um, a lot of them said, you know, no, you know, they, they would tell me at first, oh yeah, you know, I was born like this. And then when you get to talking to them, and then you know, talking about family members, sometimes it, it could be, oh, you know, I was over at my aunt's house all the time, and she was gay. Mm. So you know. Uh, y'all said something important on the on the uh, on the platform. You know, kids, you know, uh, do not identify what you say; they identify with what you do. So, I think that's that's important in, in this conversation. He talk, he's talking about uh, uh, statistics and everything like that. I'm like, I'm trying to figure out what he, where he's getting his stats from. I wish somebody would have challenged him. Like, hey, where are you getting these stats from? I was just trying to that. Breathe, bro. Listen. It yeah. started getting so shy, but ranks up in there, it was getting so ugly that honestly, I felt I was starting to feel secondhand, secondhand embarrassment so many times. Yeah, yeah. I thought I thought you cooked him though, man. You, what up, Gary? You, you noticed that he kind of he kind of he kind of backed off and was listening uh, the second half of the show because none of his points that he was making was hidden. You know, uh, how you how you a therapist and then you you know. I get it. I get it to, to the point of uh, you know inclusion and in, and in, in everything, because that's what's what's being taught. And today, I don't agree with it at all. Um, but but it's based on what? what? What is it based on? You know, what I'm saying some of the stuff. Some of the stuff that he was saying, like he was trying to agree with you without agreeing with you. <laughs> he, he was trying to play. Uh, it was almost like he was trying to be the bad cop to your good cop. Mm -hmm. Even though, uh, even though most of the points he actually agreed with, and I thought it was, I thought it was kind of funny, man. I was like, man, it was fun, crazy, man. man. I enjoyed myself. I wish I could have did it in person, man. Yeah, man. You know, I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm just talking to you, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, actually signed up for a coaching call. Uh, I got some stuff uh, that I need to talk to you about. I and, bet. Um, yeah, All right, so, yeah, just email me. Oh, tell, tell, tell Rita I said hello, and, uh, you know, I miss, I actually miss Fight Club because I miss, you know, uh, you know, talking about these points and everything like that, so. That's what's up. Yeah, I'm going to tell her she yeah. said what up. She over there in the room. Um, yeah. Hey, let me ask you a question. Um, because I've been trying to get on here for a, for a couple of weeks, uh, and this is, like, the first time I've been successful. Every time I get on here, like it's like a blank screen. My, what, what am I doing wrong? Nothing. You on there? I just didn't pull. I didn't. I just did it as a call. Like I can pull you up if I wanted to right now. Oh, okay. So, so okay. Like, but, it's like, I, it's, it, it depends on like uh, on how screen. early I get it. I get in. You on the screen now? Oh, okay. I see. Yeah. Because uh, the they, I've been trying to get on get in like the last month and it's like wasn't working for me. So I just wanted to make oh, sure I was. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, man. It's uh. Oh, and then the other uh, the other guy that was just up here, man. <laughs> I'm so tired of hearing about these reparations, bro. It, it I don't is like care about it, bro. I don't really care. Like, yeah. what it is? Let them fight. It's just a just a just a waste of conversation, man. It, it, ain't, it ain't gonna help us no way. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Cause we all all. all if we don't understand how money works, then it's gonna all go back into the hands it's supposed to be in in, in the first place. Yeah, that's so. up. All right, man. I appreciate you, big dog. All right, man. Much love. All right, bro.
Well, listen, let me knock out these super chats and then I'm going to bed. I don't I don't want to do a long show tonight um, because I am tired. I've been up all day and uh, this is my third live stream today. So we're going to get back to it tomorrow on uh, after hours, after hours. Purple Haze says, hey, do you crazy? You said, uh, <laughs> I don't feel you. Uh, uh, I don't feel you. I was telling the truth. Why is some white people to buy? Because people are racist. Time Out says, it's too late to be this angry. Why is he hollering? Because that's how he be on TN 100%. Because he be sleeping all day. He ain't got no job. This dude's ISP is oppressing him right in front of the, uh, right in front of y'all. If that ain't the system holding down the black man, then I don't know what he is. Therese says, this is the dude that sues people for a living. Yep. And Rob Brown says, shout out to the back chasers for represent, representing the night in a highly initiated chat. Shout out to you, Anton, but I have to ask, can you read a, <laughs> can you read a book? Yeah, man. Listen, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all. I wish I could stream longer, but I am. I'm, I'm tired. I'm crashing out. I want to go to bed. And, uh, you know, I got to get my rest. We're doing a Millionaire Morning Show in the morning. Uh, and we're going to get back to it, and then we're doing after hours. All right? I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'm going to see y'all in the morning. Peace.